uh, an industrial scheduling to find the total weighted completion time uh, having the following formula summation of wj times cj it is equal to the following it is equal to the following so consider we have three jobs at job one two three and pj it has a processing time of one 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 is denoted as one hour or one day in this example we're going to consider it as one hour and we have the way the way is usually the cost which could be the inventory extra cost or the extra cost imposed if we do for every hour of machining in this case we have the way for job one is seven and here is two dollars and here is five dollars okay so uh, to start with to solve this problem we're gonna draw the scale of a machining time so this is machining so this is machining time in hours or it could be in days it does not have to be machining just like a scale of time so if we start with since all the jobs they have the same processing time and we have the way which is in dollars so we start with the highest weight okay so we start with gonna start with job one okay so we start with job one okay so this is job one which require one hour and then we do job three as it has the highest weight and then we do job two so the best sequence is one three two in order to calculate summation of wjcj so is equal w1 j1 plus w2 j2 plus w3 j3 okay so this is equal to seven okay so uh, j is one so excuse me so this one is c1 c2 and c3 so for job one w1 is one and it finished at c1 after one hour of machining so this is time one plus w uh, for job three because we have here job three so it's five times two finish after two hours of machining and the way for job two is equal to two times three so this is seven plus ten plus six is equal to twenty three okay in this case dollars if we have different processing time as we could see here is another example so this is example one and this is example two so if we have different processing time in different way the best way to do it is to sequence the job in a dec decreasing order sequence okay the jobs in decreasing order using order of wj divided by pj okay so to find here wj divided by pj so in this case is equal to 2 11 divided by 5 is, so 11 divided by 5 is 2.2 9 divided by 7 is 1.2 8 and 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 okay so we have 2 2.2 1.28 and 1.25 so the easiest way in this case is to do job 1 job 2 job 3 the 4 as we sequence the job in decreasing order of wj over pj so job one it has three processing hour so one 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 is job one job two five so it will be two 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 five times job is three seven so one two three four five six seven and job four four processing one two three four if we need to calculate summation of WCJ is C1 plus W2C2 plus 
W3C3 plus W4C4 is equal um, so 6 plus 11 plus 9 plus 5 C1 it finish at after 3 hours of machining C2 it finish after 8 uh, 3 it finish at 15 hours of machining and draw 4 at 19 so if you calculate the summation this is by far the cheapest method so if you have all the processing time to be equal we start with the largest way if we have a different time for processing time and w we sequence them in decreasing order of w j p j okay if you have any question please write to my email address available in the box below